There we go. What's good, everybody? This is your Lethal Spark, John Peterson here, back, and welcome to the first MK11 combat cast in a couple of months. So now, with that little scrub's all cleared up, let's get this going, shall we? Second. Perfection. Since it's out of the way, we can finally get to the goods. So, there are a couple of massacres in these great United States one in El Paso and one in Dayton. And I issue my condolences to both of them. So, I'm going to that in there. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I see King is already in chat. I will give you your wrench, sir. I'll let the others know. Alright, good to know. I uh, also gave you your wrench, sir. Just know that this will be where the uh, combat casts will be for the uh, foreseeable future, as well as anything MK related. Like cutscene reactions, ending reactions, fatality reactions, all that jazz.
before time began, there was the hype horn. <laughs> Yep. Just start symbiotic firecracker productions already dropping the lore and I'm already dropping a wrench. <laughs> All right then. Well, we got a great combat cast lined up for you today. Not only will we be discussing the newest DLC character to hit MK11, the Makoka, bad the Makoka Badass, Nightwolf, but also we'll be discussing balance pads, which is... And... Okie dokie, I spread the word. Alright, let me just... Let me just change some things... Script. I think I'll throw in the. I think I'll throw in a theme. At any moment, Kojin's gonna come in guns ablaze, and <sighs> you know him all too well, my guy. Let me just install this sucker. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, oh, Boomer JP. Stop being a boomer, Johnny. And here's Rodan. I need the hype horn, not the hype bird. But anyway. Where in the hell is Kojin? I sent him the link. Change some things up here. So I better hurry it up. Window capture. This. Yes. There we go. Alright, high porn inbound, boys. 
And then we made it just in time. We got Hanzo. Best girl, Scarlet. Raiden. Giras. Sub Zero. Sonya Blade. Braca, sound that high porn! The combat cast. Thank you, Jameson now. Price. Man, haven't done this in a while. Hello and welcome. Last, last back time we've all been together was in June, cast. believe it or not. Well, everybody, but we were here with a combat cast, a very special combat cast, because there's two things you all want to see really a lot today. We're gonna to see Nightwolf. We're also gonna talk about the balance changes. We're very excited about the whole situation, so let's go to the couch and say hello to everyone to start this combat cast out right. Here we go. Well, we so see Steph, we see Derek, uh, we see Stephanie, Tyler. Senior QA analyst, Derek Kurtzik, supporter of everything John Anderson. Wow. What? I'm Tyler Lansdowne, one of the community managers here at Netherrealm, and behind the power station, it's been a while, Mr. John Anderson. Hello. John Anderson? Wow, that was wow, that, <laughs> that escalated quickly. I like to think that he's a, he's a pretty charismatic guy. That did not show like I wanted it. Mm -hmm. Well, he's busy with the power station. The power station is right. difficult to deal with. Well, that makes sense. Uh, a couple that makes sense, Seth. Mess up today. Well, last time he did really well. Okay. I think huh. he did three last time. I think okay. so, too. So, two. So, so, two. so, so, two. so, two. so, two. Uh, so here we go. we got a couple of things to talk about before we get to it. We, we want to get to all this cool stuff, because I know I tweeted yesterday about the balance changes and... It's very exciting. It blew my yeah, I kind of yeah, I kind of played a. Uh, there were some. Oh my God, King, Josh, explain, like, please. Like, like, this stuff that, like, I got a stream to do. Like, not gross as in disgusting. Would you like to say, give us an example? Explain, like, please. Characters that they thought needed buff that were like. Mm, I saw a Scorpion needed to be buffed a lot. Oh, well, cool. That's, yep. that that would be a. Mm -hmm. That would be one. Yeah, but you know that'll come up after Nightwolf. Yeah, so we're gonna do Nightwolf first. All right, all so right, so Steph, we, we get it. Uh, you guys want to have us? We have a lot of the, the, uh, Look, look out, right. Nightwolf first. Uh, Sheesh. Talk about stingy. Today. 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 Uh, Xbox One and PS4 for Switch and PC. They're coming very, very soon. I remember Nightwolf is available for early access on the 13th of this month. Mm -hmm. So, yep. let's get started. Same uh, day that uh, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck drops. Week. Actually, mm -hmm. three in this room did. Um, Thank you, Kit. Thank you, Josh. Doing off. the Elder Gods uh, work, as champions. usual. A lot of heavy hitters in top eight. Yeah, the top eight, mm -hmm. my takeaway was Deoxys was the only player that had not previously got an Evo medal. And that kind of shows the consistency of our players. Like Hayate, uh, Foxy, Dragon... Mm -hmm. These are guys. That, yeah. Some of them, By the way, I posted a little survey on the Twitters like that uh Dragon about like, me wanting to react like to either tournaments, tournaments or conventions. So let's take a look at how that's going, shall we? How many do you have, Stephanie? Three. Cool. Uh, I Not bad. Time. It was good seeing all the fans. I have absolutely zero. Everybody and watching a really great tournament. John Anderson, you have a good time? I'm still tired from it. It's okay. exhausting, but it's. <laughs> So fun. All right. So far, two people want me to want me to do that. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like uh, Evo, uh, like a uh, like E three uh, packs, uh, C two E two, all that jazz. Uh, if you go to the NRS esports and look through some of the, uh, you should be following at NRS esports. By the way, if Tyler, I'm ahead of the game here. You, you my dude. Uh, you should go there. There's gonna be a tournament coming up where you can get time crystals, cash prizes, and the winner will get an all expense paid trip to NEC. The link should be in the NRS N -E -C. Sports, uh, Twitter. Also, you can find it in uh, And King uh, says, uh, yeah, you should, because those events game. build up hype. Um, eh, you know don't what? blame me for thinking well, that, my sometimes guy. Sometimes we talk too much at the beginning. I, I've never heard that. <laughs> Let's <laughs> talk. So let's cut it off right now. Um, we are going to show uh, more today of Nightwolf. Very cool. exciting. John, can we take a, a quick look at the Nightwolf picture? Yeah, Nightwolf there render, good oh, sirs. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, uh, he looks pretty I dope. I believe, though, we do have a lore minute we would like to talk about. I do. I mean, so you should see how I reacted to so seeing Banjo announced in Smash. Good to know. In this game that's new is actually the origin of Nightwolf. How did he get his powers? Who was he before okay, he got his Okay, the origins. His real name is actually Grey Cloud. Uh, Steph, Toka King Toka. told me that. Toka. The Toka yes. tribe. My apologies. That's red um, war paint on him. Yeah, I know. Wolf is a mantle, a, a title, something that. But it looks like blood. <laughs> a great spirit that in, in 
infuse warriors with power. Okay. So Great Cloud. A little bit of a history uh, lesson here from uh, Stephanie. Warrior. He uh, mm -hmm. lived on a reservation and was very hopeless and despondent, and he did not follow the old ways or, or have anything. He was on so his way to an early death. And, and I see uh, Dokugan Ryu 15. Uh, let me get you your wrench. Thank you. That he would presumably go and sell. And Nightwolf or a Grey Cloud was actually tempted to. He he was going to do it. Solid Snake. Grey Fox. Ah, uh, Grey Cloud. Him. Big Brain. He, uh, mortally wounded him, and as he lay dying, the spirit approached him, and he was deemed worthy, and he became the latest Nightwolf, and he got these spiritual powers, and he defeated Night Kano and sent him packing and protected the artifacts and jeez <laughs> what is everyone having against that guy is not the same night wolf as before it or is. is this the lore of this the night wolf this is just new known? information that we did not know oh, but this oh. is the one that became a revenant and there is a revenant skin that will be shown wow that is right. that might be one of the hottest lore minutes you've done mm -hmm. that was deep awesome it's deep stephanie's lore minute Boom. Steph's lore minute, go. baby. All right, so let's get right to it. Let's All right, let's get right, right into so what we came to talk about. Right well, one lore. of the things, at least. Uh, Archetype-wise, how does... Yeah, how kind of does Nightwolf play? Night Wolf play? Wolf and I can't hear a damn <laughs> thing from <laughs> yes. them uh, on this I've phone loud enough, XD. Reactionary? Well, uh, basically, um... Uh, so what I mean by that is... Basically, what Steph here was trying to say was... There's this dude named Grey Cloud, okay? He was he was basically on the verge of double crossing his whole little tribe because you know reasons. Then some black dragon jerk wads showed up, and then things happened. Then one of them got mortally wounded, and then freaking this happened. Again, the characters bringing back classic things that they've done. Or is it on your end, my dude? Yeah, because a lot of characters you want to see some of the stuff they've done before, but like it's always fun to add a. All right, let me turn my mic volume down then. Um, we have All right, can you hear them now? Three mm -hmm. different Nightwolf loadouts. All look amazing. Yeah. Uh, the second mm. the second skin I'll say right now is like... Second awesome. and third are like... Yeah, things hit the fan. Third, wow. Into. Super into. So uh, Who would have thought that Nightwolf was once Nightwolf. a troublemaker? Right, so let's just start off yep. with the basics. Um, as common cool. in this game, he actually uses weapons a lot. He uses his hatchet. And he has uh, his it's called a Tama. Gunstock Club. Gunstock Club. Bunch of his attacks. Wow. It's actually a, a real Native American weapon that they use. Mm -hmm. They would pick up uh, guns and use them as clubs, and then they actually started making their own versions of them. Right. You can Google it. It's, it's pretty gnarly. Yeah, it was, uh, it was something that Edwards was really pushing for to give it new life and a new weapon. <clears throat> and he can also hop? use spiritual axe as well as his real one. You can see there he uses bolt, and then you can see the spirit one actually go away, and he puts the other one back. It's, it's pretty neat. I would assume the spiritual one's more powerful. Sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's go with that. So let's go over the three or four moves I really wanted to show. The first sure thing, Steph. His forward two, where he uses the new club, and that's a really long range overhead that. But can it crushing blow? Speed too. Yeah, I would say it's slightly on the slow side, but for an overhead, yeah. it's, you know, it's not going to be lightning quick. Right. Mm. And he can actually hit confirm that into a special move, where he can just knock you down. That's it. Yeah, his classic shoulder tackle. Is his forward one, and that is super quick. I yeah. think it's 14 frames, something like that, and that has. Really good range. Yeah, and it goes Jeez. Yeah, he can also. You're not kidding, Steph. That thing's fast. I can see a lot of. I can see a lot of players online failing the count of that. And I think these two moves really are like his core two mid range moves, and they complement each other. So, mm -hmm. one forces you to stand block, but is a little bit on the slow side. Right. And the other one is super super quick, and that that's excellent for like punishing whiffs, like after you hit a low post. It's just a good go quick in. advancing. Yeah, right. it's it's one of those. To be honest, I never played Nightwolf that often, so the only yeah, moves I know was his down. Green Arrow move. Oh, you mean his Spirit Arrow? And then his Shoulder Charge. And this, you can see, there's a ton of like natural delay for the shoulder, and it's awesome for staggering. You do the first two hits, mm -hmm. and then you can go for throws or jump overs or low pokes, or let it go and you do the shoulder. Gotcha. Right. And then lastly, well, I really like the string because it reminds me of UMK3. Uh huh. He has this kick to the chest, right. ending in this chop, which is total UMK3. Yeah, the chop. Chop I think this string is awesome for staggers. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. actually has a crushing blow. And the requirement is if the last hit is the only one to connect. Mm -hmm. So if the opponent blocks it, don't do the third hit. You start doing throws. Right. And then when the opponent actually lets go of 
block because they think you're going to throw, that's when you get the crushing blow. Cool. And does it has that a moment. Low starter like from MK3. He does, yeah. and like MK9, it it's is. not a low. That's awesome. So that's <laughs> a mid. Yeah, second Steph. I, I, some of us may have lost the plot here. That move in a little bit. Oh, yeah, Tyler yeah. must have yeah. something about it. Well, they, it changes later. Oh, get out. Yeah. So let's show his throws, which I think are pretty cool. And he's one of the rare characters that has a crushing blow on both throws, which is always awesome. really, really strong. So he's basically. Love, love both the throws. I especially, love, I mean, the one with the light coming down is amazing. But the, the power that the gun club there has, yeah. the moment he waits and, and like really loads it up is really cool. And that may have a pretty cool brutality. There's very, is there, it may have? It, it may have. have. It, it may have. have. After the hood, I'm always going to say may. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, So let's go over special moves. Sure. sure. His base loadout is pretty much exactly what you'd expect. It's classic UMK3 Nightwolf with a couple of twists. So first, the shoulder barge. It's back, long range, great with Punisher, great check. Awesome. Yep. However, new to this, it's a mid, oh. which is a really big buff to this move. You used to be able to just crouch. King in so chat like, says, you know, it would be amazing for the Spawn combat cast if they bring in Todd McFarlane as a guest right. to uh, explain Spawn's lore. Yeah, I think pretty much everybody here knows about Spawn's lore. He was once a CIA black ops dude named Al Simmons, who was turned to... Turned on, who was, uh, who was double-crossed by, uh... He has a new Amplify thing where he chops you, and if only the Amplify hits, he gets the crushing blow. And it keeps you reset. Yep. And you get to keep that action catch Yeah, which is really, really gross. You gotta think about it. Yeah. And actually... Which is a pretty standard... Yep, King! Remember that arrow? It's back! I only know... I only know his lore from the movies. That comic accurate? Yep. Really quickly shoot three, and this is really good for catching. Yep. They like duck the first. So basically, he gets double crossed by his bosses, gets burned alive, and he can also actually cancel it. So he can. And then look for movement. If they're not gonna move, he can cancel it. My favorite thing. And then he gets, and then he gets coerced into service by Malbrosia, one of the Dukes of Hell, who gives him a really wicked suit. Sadly, he never got to see his lady friend again. You create the lore you gave early. You put Kane over as Nightwolf. I actually always try. A lot of people get mad if I use Scorpion or Sub Zero. Yes, they do. Especially Sub Zero. The Sub Zero community. I agree with you guys. He always gets beat up. So I try to base it on lore. There you go. Or at least use like Johnny Cage or something, because everybody hates Cage. Whoa. What? Not cool. Why not use Devora? Um, and lastly, he has his reflex. You can hold it. It's. Let's just cool. call it the no you. Bounce back. Now, good to know. That was basically the uh, one projectile. Yes. If you throw multiple projectiles, it won't reflect a second. So right. you have to be careful. So mm -hmm. the opponent can amplify if they have a double. Like Nightwolf's own arrow, he could amplify to hit Nightwolf. Right. And, and he Nightwolf then in return would get hit by one other one. Yes. But could reflect... See? Back King back. knows what's up! Why not use Devora? You reflected my Katana fan, mm -hmm. and I absorbed with her parry right. my own fan, which then buffed me. And because we were playing on the balance patch, the buff was better. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Spoiler alert. Don't worry. Okay. All right, so, I'm going to stop you right there, Steph. And All right. the first two loadouts we're going to show are his tournament variations. Everyone's right. always like, oh, my God, show the tournament variations. So we aim to please. Mm -hmm. My wish is your command. And uh, so this is... <laughs> I wouldn't True. say that. Okay. So uh, this is the one I actually personally use. I prefer the other. Yes. So, the first one, I would think, I would say is a combo-based one. Mm -hmm. So, he gains mm -hmm. the hatchet uppercut. It's a good anti-air move. Alright, oh, that comes Oh, that comes back from MK9. Yes. That's a very good point. You can kind of use it in the... Nice to see that form, again. That is a lot of space. Yeah. If you amplify it, that's where it really gets juicy. It's a big combo start. Mm -hmm. So, like... Hmm... That's going to be, like, his chief combo star. And oh, that's just like, disgusting. super fun to use. I was literally doing it right before we went on the Yeah. Air. He can double it, and the pop-up's still really good. Awesome. Oh. Uh, oof. Yeah, 
There we go. And nice. you can see that's uh, now that's wall carry. Like from mid range, she went all the way to the corner. So yep. that's gonna do really good damage. You are using two bars, so you're not gonna be able to do it literally do it every time you get a pop up, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he has Kiba, which is a spirit wolf. This buffs his Kiba. Hmm. I haven't heard that name since Defenders, Defenders of the Realm. It's my favorite thing about Nightwolf. Is that I was that's just so great. Attacked. I wish it was going to express that he could hack computers. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this has a neat thing where if he amplifies it, I mistime it, and he actually gains armor. So that's actually a safer way to uh, mm -hmm. set it up. So a lot of times, like, all right, we got um, Kiva. It's very hard to get the buffs active, although not anymore. All right. Um, okay. We're gonna be we're gonna be run out of balance ideas by the time this is over. They made the cartoon <laughs> reference. Yes, the Mad Lads actually made that reference. Serious. And wait, you actually watched that? Yeah, yeah, they had episodes on YouTube. So I think um, that's variation one. It's pretty much you get really good combos and you get a damage buff to complement your really good combos. I hope that the uh, community howls anytime the, the wolf comes out. It happened at Evo. Oh when, yeah? When the, uh, yeah, they that played was the awesome. Oh, that's great. Will you do, uh, do the wolf real quick? Yeah. And do throw? How does the cartoon fare? So, well, it has Clancy Brown as Raiden. Also, what do you think? Top eight and then actually act out his howling wind pose. Mm -hmm. I will consider that a personal insult and be mm -hmm. very, very disappointed. It's a, it's yeah, a I would. Yeah, very few times we agree, Steph. Audio team, just the spirit. Yeah, everything. Everything. Yeah, like why are you playing? Yep. Yeah, yeah, like why do you even live in the same planet as me if that's the case? Because I think the into attack is super cool. Yeah. Good idea. It's just Mr. Scott. Here's like <laughs> Fatal Blow time. Oh! <laughs> Shocking, eh, Kano? Cool. Alright, so loadout 2. And this is the one you really like. Yes. And this is the one like Ultra David. And I think a lot of people are going to like. A lot of. If you like Grab. The Wolf. Mm -hmm. I do. Pictures, no. Mr. Cubs with Hayden's books. Really? No. Yeah, you're a little surprised. They also based right. that so, particular Raiden. Just the Revenant skin. Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. I, the war paint's really cool, and his glowing eyes just look creepy. Oh. So the first thing he has in this one. Is <laughs> Ow! Two Damn it, bear! Combo enders, and they are throws. <sighs> this awesome spare! Battle. Spare! And this actually adds a crushing blow, and it's a punish. So. If you have this loadout, he gets additional damage when he blocks. Whoa, him. Revenant Nightwolf. Yeah. yeah. Revenant Nightwolf. Noob play. mentioned him in that video I watched in regards to the yeah, intros. I mean, it's a punish. Yeah. There's no reason not to. And then he gets this, which is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. The rollout. The rollout's so good. Yeah, I like how the rollout's timed with the knife dissipating. Yeah. I, I actually do this early a lot. I'll do this out of range. Mm -hmm. uh, his, his the low one. Mm -hmm. And it works really well. Oh, John, you and your knowledge on weapons. Yep. Ah. Choice of axe, by the way. Oh, yeah. This, his, could, this could be some of your finest work for His costumes. axes and gun stock clubs are really cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. so then he gains an amplified reflex where he actually teleports. And yeah. He, can actually he, he actually flies the no you. So it's like, not only you can. Well, no. Nope. You're literally like. Well, nope. <laughs> so that's, that's, like that's true counter zoning. That does count. That costs a bar. Yes. You can yeah. Just do it willy -nilly. Yeah, he just can't well, yellow that sucker. That complements he... the grappling, which we're about to show. And it's so crazy if you can do it like we said earlier. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Oh. Like that was a tomahawk right to the. Yes. And change your timings up and things. Exactly. Really cool. Yeah, you can hold it for quite a while and then tell mm -hmm. more. So he gains a true command grab. Mm-hmm. It has an amplify, which. Looks really nasty and actually gives him hella uh, hit advantage. You can see Nightwolf is just walking along. He can actually jump over them. Oh! He gets a lot of time off that. And, he and so he's like, so we have this javelin here. Throws, so. That's a spear, you uncultured swine! That's not blocking. A tomahawk to the... T <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I got hit in the nuts. All three of his so I can feel that. Rare. Oh, and I see Kojin. And I think I'll just show it because it's you. I know you're trolling. Two, also, here's your wrench. First, <laughs> like the last part is two hits. 
he can actually tick off that. Alright, so he can tick grab that. and then right. freaking that. Out. Alright, so lock, 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 and then cringe inducing yeah. castration. <laughs> Come on, dude. We just saw a guy get a tomahawk to the nut. <laughs> yeah, and how is Kano still standing after that? He should be dead. Yeah, we remember you, Judy. We remember you a lot. Uh, King, bring bring Rome, bring the lovebirds up to speed. I got a stream to do. He's super fun. He's another one where I have to be honest. I I'm not like this huge knight will stand. Like he's mm. never, you know, I'm not like in UMK3 he's my main. Right. But he is I I never I, thought Nightwolf would be the kind of person to do that. Very very <laughs> Me the hell neither, my dude. Basically Nightwolf. Well. Always what I enjoyed up here. Yeah, when King is cringing, you know it's good. He has a cut. Yeah, he has a couple of moves. All right, night club. Called it night cub, which you'll, you'll see why in a moment. I yeah, yeah. I don't get the joke. I'm super. A shoulder tackle can summon animal spirits. And I love the jeans and jacket. That's mm -hmm. so cool. There's something so, weird about seeing like <sighs> a fighting game like wearing jeans. Like, right, I yeah. think it's cool, right? Hmm. So uh, has do I have to remind you that Mike Hagar exists? Okay, we got a roll. A commando yeah, roll to a. Uh, oh boy, Kojin is on the rampage. So you're going under projectile. Under projectile. Well, yeah. he is a straight up Molina stain. And then you can amplify it. Before it, boom. And get a pop up. And the amp. But can it combo into fatal blow? Ability that I equip. So I'm using two slots. Normally he will not get the pop up on that, but I used it to get the pop up. Gotcha. And then gotcha. the second move I gave him is. Hannah's Wrath, where he summons this spirit eagle. And Hannah's it's Wrath? It has very interesting properties. When it connects, hmm. it actually forces the opponent, they cannot do amplified moves. While they have yeah. that ball, Kano cannot do amplified ball, amplified not. Any of his amplifications are disabled, and it lasts a, a pretty decent length of time. Mm -hmm. And while we're not showing it, you're going to have to wait. Uh, the bear is another buff move, and his name is Como. People want to Como. Good to know. To know. Yeah, yeah, so, Hana, oh, yeah, Como. the ego move is badass. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, his second fatality is Comatose. I'm super into that. That's Comatose. Oh, oh, I see what you did there. Yep. Oh, I see. Awesome. Oh, I, oh, and Kojin? There is Night Wolf. Yeah, I think yeah. he's a, a pretty. <laughs> he's just pretty showing you again with that gun stock club. Really liked him in that was the, awesome. In the MK3, and you just kind of want to play that. Honest mid range game. Well, Steph, I, I have a bit of a promise to make to a friend in this very chat who shall remain nameless that I would bury Devorah alive. Yeah, I think the barrier to. King in the chat says if they make returning characters. And yes, I'm still mad. Whoa! Easy, coach! Easy! E to the Z, my dude. Or or I I will make sure Nightwolf gets his licks at Devora next Tuesday. You have my word right to the letter. Don't have to be mad at Benny or his immediate family. Uh, great. So we are going to uh, take you out for a little bit. You'll be back. Oh, You'll wow. be back. Okay. Like... It's like, I put it the wrong way. Yeah. Well, We're, Derek, right. Derek's gonna take a bit of a break. I'm exhausted. All right, Derek. You take uh, five, man. Screen real quick. We're going to bring in Paulo Garcia, hey. one of the uh, lead designers here. And we're going to do what you've been waiting for as well. Yeah. To talk about. Co uh, thank Paulo's you, King. Screen up and let's, uh, sure enough. Bring in the we'll Lord. Like minute and a half. Patch notes. Anyway, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Try not to kill each other.
I'll be right back. Jody, that's my right, friend. Back. Very quick. Paulo Garcia. How's it going? Welcome to the show. Welcome, Paulo. Uh, one of the lead designers here at NetherRealm, and you are here to talk about... Uh, that's Doku Gun... Gun that's Doku Ryu? Now, one thing we do want to mention. Uh, the list is... Uh, substantial. Josh, that was uh, Josh, even a.k.a. Lethal Firecracker. Well, it's substantial, I would say... The Englishman with the Mega Man icon is my very good friend, King, and the Afro Puff is Kojin Shinigami. You win a lot more. It's more of just balancing things out throughout the entire cast, and... A lot of the overall goal was just to make it where um, some of the um, uh, competitive variations that were used less than others, we try to be, either make adjustments to the one that was used more, the ones that uh -huh. used less, to make it where um, they, they would be more even out. Yeah, so there's a lot of that, and then there's also oh. people, maybe so you're all about that balance, like Thanos. Overall changes. Perfect yeah, balance is all things should be. A lot of tweaks to just the characters that are considered generally the best, and then the characters that are considered generally the worst, and it's data coming from just also coach and I have a high pain threshold. Players, Competitive players, people that go to our IPS tournaments, a lot of it just raw data that we <coughs> see just from uh, just uh, like data we see playing the game, and it's the data feedback that we see. Okay. Okay. Well, we get a lot of analytics. We have a lot of numbers yeah. here. Okay. Speak proper into. English. Game goes into that. So we have a low IQ in the chat. Start, let's talk real quickly about the first stuff. Well, before we go over okay. characters, I wanted to go over a couple like overall things that we did. The first is we took a really good look at low pokes. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of down ones, down threes that were very, very, very strong. Very low recovery. And yeah, very strong. Um, you and the other designers. Like the women Kojin are into. Pretty significant amount of changes. The changes themselves are not super significant. They're not now, you know, full combo punishable, but there's a great number of them. Yeah, a lot of them are just this move has one more frame of recovery where that doesn't seem like a huge deal, but it just brings it in line to mm -hmm. some of the other low mm -hmm. just to keep them all in a general area. There'll always be some that are better than others. That's the general Yeah, area. I always got to keep them honest. Take some of the higher ends and bring it down a little bit and some of the worst points. I always got to keep them honest. Like one of the key ones is Gears is down one. Yeah, that one just has one more just frame of recovery, which doesn't seem like a big deal up front, but it does make it where after you block one, you can then poke him back before he does another one, or you can get out of range a little bit and then shoulder you. It just adds a little, a little bit more to the gameplay. And again, we're not going to go over the whole like list of them, but they'll be in the patch notes. You, everyone in the ner all the nerds in the frames, and I'm one of them. I say that with love. <laughs> me, me and Aaron would be coming through that if we weren't here. You can look at that very, very soon. And yeah. Uh, you can also look uh, at the ones that all right. I'll, all that uh, um, yeah, the, the, the stealth stuff. Right. Right. So the second thing. Yeah, is, Spurks have a pretty high pain threshold, really. Um, there are a substantial amount of moves that were low profiling and we did not want them to as well. There were some uh, mid attacks that you could duck under. One of the examples there would be Johnny Cage's 1-2-1. One, one. Uh, character should not be able to crouch under that anymore. Yeah, that would be a... Uh, yeah, I think that would be a mid or a high? I don't freaking know. I'm no, I'm no big game developer. I'm just a humble streamer from Flyover America. What do you want from me? And it's something we want as a player is where you can like try to like um, see your opponent's doing something and he's jumping in and you can use one of your low attacks sort of get down. We just want to make sure that they're somewhat in line and they aren't like going too low or anything like that. Excellent. Might as well check uh, my Twitter. Just one thing just to, to reiterate. Uh, we picked a, we picked a couple character matchups that we'll use to show. Because some of the changes, well, there's like been a couple new crushing blows added, a couple new moves added. A couple new crushing, a couple new ways to rough up Devora. Our patch notes will tell you where. One more, one more, one more exciting thing, and this this one's very intriguing. Uh, we are introducing health differences for a few key characters. Yeah, um, uh, the two cons, uh, they've got higher health than uh, than than um, the rest of the cast. Yeah, Kotal and Shao. Shao Khan. And same thing with some of the higher, um, the higher tier characters. And King and says, "Oh, whoa, whoa, holy crap! So they just released the cinematic for the new Cassius for Persephone." Jackie. Yeah, mm. that's at least them. There might be one more, but yeah. And we're not talking like five hundred less. Right. right. No. It's, you're not going to like yeah. uppercut them and they just die. Yeah. yeah, you would have taken an extra down one. So stuff like that. So it's, right. it's it's stuff that where it factors in where a lot of times where you'd be like, uh, mm. um, I could have barely lived and uh, or something like that, where it'll factor in a matchup, but it's not something that's meant to like completely sway a matchup one way or another. I have been fighting but you're, you're be, a I... lot lately, and I'll do the fatal blow, and I'm like, I got it. He's going to die. And then he barely survives, and I get emo. It's fine. All right, so let's start going over characters. Yep. 
Uh, let's go to the go to the screen here. So we have Cassie and Cetrion. So the first thing for Cassie is we have introduced a bigger gap in the recovery. Uh, All right, we got best girl Cass. Up shadow kick mm -hmm. specifically. And Cetrion is the opponent, Kojin. Yeah, so a lot of these characters we want to make sure. So. Overall game plan and stuff. Like she's still like probably yeah. the most. Kill that bug. Kojin. Nightwolf doesn't come out until next Wednesday. That would be Tuesday. Now there's a false bot gap in there where you can um, bait your opponents to do it or not. And if, and if you know they're going to always try to go for it, you can fall false bot it and then spend some remainder to punish her back. Cool. So with Cetrion, we actually took a good look at her Force of Nature variation, which is the, the ground pound one. So the first that was probably levels of crazy. I, I like Cetrion, so this is very exciting. You can actually cancel her ground pound, and it is super fast. You hold up. It does use a bar of defensive stamina. But you okay, that's good. Only she does the second one. And she'll actually cancel out of it. And okay, good. That should come in real handy. Defensive stamina. It doesn't come back that fast, so it's not something you can just be throwing out. You're not going to be doing like all trying to crazy Cetrion pressure now. It is more of the thing where you can do your ground pounds and keep them safe um, when you're willing to do it, but then your opponent can also be known that you're willing to do it and work around that. Uh, super exciting. Uh, Monokuma, I'm going to need a Trank Dart, man. Um, it's off her rock crush move, and the requirement is hit it from max range. It's like the very tip of the rock crush move. Like that. Break her face. And this is one of those things we talked about where we're taking... Yep, the yep, your best girl. Not probably being used as much. Also, could you please trank Kojin? Yeah, just balancing the two out. Yep. Yeah. Right, and these are mostly the things we're going to do. He, uh... So, uh, that's what we wanted to show for those two. Ah... Uh, uh, <laughs> I guess oh, if you want something done right. While we're setting up the next characters, uh, which is right there. Frost, uh, we did a lot of frame changes to. I think, to me, the most notable is her back one is significantly faster. Giving nice. her a they actually fast. buffed the so snow fox? Don't know what her back awesome! What is that her? is the move where she, she bops you with her head. Yeah, she clubs you with her home. Yeah. yeah. So I love that she's gonna have a good mid, but I especially love that it's literally hitting you with her head. Yeah, and and it being it being um, the one of her faster mid strings also has a drawback to it where um, you can't cancel that string in the special moves that use the head also. So it's got a little bit of drawback there, but it does give her um, uh, a string to play around with just to mix up within her other ones. Right. And there are several other frame changes that you can see. Um, a really big one is we've taken a look at Gears's crushing blow requirements. Yeah, his were ones where it was polarizing some matchups where it could be where you couldn't throw your projectile against Garrett so he could sort of block it and then he just got a free 30% on you, uh, depending on which round it was in, you could sort of save it. So that one has a crush of And done. It's more in line with the rest of the cast. So, so it was to make his where his were just overall done. easier to character to make his a little bit harder to do. And then uh, one final thing is we uh -huh. looked at a lot of Jackie's frames, and I think the big one to me is her clenched double knee has significantly less hit advantage. When she knocks you down, she no longer can like go to the kitchen, get a snack, come back, and then pressure you. Yeah, it, it's it's still the most damaging ender you can do. So it oh, has, so you're basically and, um, trying to shack me up with Hades' so wifey so because you she reminds you of Poison one, Ivy, huh? Yawn. Moving on. So let's go to another gameplay example. Another another version of like so Kano dirtbag like yes not it, it's not played as much there was a Evo win with it I did see uh, yeah there was an Evo W so uh, dirtbag came a little more uh, there's more stuff to do so one of the cool things is we took a look at his acid move and increased the hitbox the range on it it's an overall better move like you can see mm -hmm. this now actually connects when before it would not and it has so normally when you amplify it. He tosses that and sets them on fire. It has a new version where you hold back, and he actually leaves a flaming puddle on the ground that he can use, kind of like a caltrop, like orange black yeah. acid. And then in, in doing that, just in the middle of the screen, Orcano you know, Smolotov you know, cocktail. You know, so you want to do, but there were a lot of combos where he did if you're in a juggle with that move, where he would throw the um, the, the Molotov cocktail past them, especially in the corner, and he would end up being punished with triangle. Where now you can do the close version. And that'll hit in a lot more juggles. So it's it's more of a an offensive tool, but you can also use it every once in a while as a mix-up tool to do to catch your opponent off guard. Um, he also has like we buffed the Vegemite buff, the uh, 
Pinnaball, Pinnaball ball, and that yep. does more damage. There's a few other fun stuff like that. Yeah, and a lot of it was just um, some of it was bug fixes. Like it was, it was really hard to input. Here's what kills me. When he had the super dark charge ball. Charon's uh, fleet yeah, can't he fight, yet he has a cannon. He'll go into the ball, does a little bit more damage. So a little small tweaks here and there. Cool. So let's take a look at Aaron Black. Um, the first thing is, and I love this, we have slowed down the startup of his Fatal Blow. It was like lightning fast, and it's still pretty quick, but I think it's like eight frames slower, so it'll yeah. be in the patch notes. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's enough mm -hmm. where um, you can't just throw it out with punish anything, so you can be a little bit more reckless than you were before, but it, it, it still has this menacing presence of it. Reaches Plot frame, twist. It's, it's a, a cannon high, that shoots so confetti. And another interesting Cannon, change is... Cannons don't shoot confetti, my guy. Okay. You Remember? want to do it? Yeah, so put set to human, and you slide on there. Okay. Your guess if I could do it in four tries? It's actually pretty easy, but I mess it up a lot. Okay, ready? Anyway, okay, hold on. Let me, so tell them what we're doing first. We need a All bigger right. trank so dart. The amplification of his overhead boot no longer hits you if you're airborne. So if you jump out, you will not be hit, and that means you can actually punish Aaron Black if he goes for it. Right. Just but ignore Kojin. He'll, sure. he'll mellow out when Devorah or gets murderized in my mm. MK AMA. I'm very excited to try that. Three chances? Yep. Well, it's an overhead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I do it again? Sorry. Reset. I forgot how I did this other time. <laughs> uh... uh I would have done it that time, too. What am I doing wrong? Everything. Yeah. I'm yes! Even letting okay, Kojin be an close. idiot! That was close. Should have practiced it before him. <laughs> All right, you got there it. There it is. And yeah. I was holding block. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, and, but it's one of those where if he doesn't go for the for the extra shot and you do short hop, um, uh, he'll, he'll actually be a uh, slight advantage. So it's one of those things where you have to sort of uh, watch him to see if he actually does it. Or you can come up with um, uh, different ways to option select your way out of it. If the character is a die kick, for example, you can jump up and then react to it. Stuff like that. So something where it'll make it more interesting in matchups. Yep. So before we go to the next match, we have another thing. Uh, Katana, we've taken a look at variation two, the Adenian dance move. Those, the fans that circle her are now mid and they are pretty good on block now. Yeah, and, and uh, when you do... Online coaching when it comes to Jordi. She slid back a little bit when she did it. Um, now you can actually hold forward and she'll slide forward a little bit. So you can choose to do the move as sort of like a anticipation on the guy coming in or jumping in, or you can use it as uh, block pressure and uh, get it in where you can, uh, depending on when you let go to and the things are spinning, you can uh, be at a different like a plus or minus advantage. And it's a way to have Katana where she gives up her combos for using that variation, but it makes it more of a like block pressure. <sighs> thing that, I am... That um, doesn't really have another... Character in the game is like that. We also took a look at Kotal's cat variation. That's my favorite. Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, Sun God are thing. now much, much safer. Yeah, and you actually have a couple more frames to um, to amplify them when you're doing them to make it a little bit easier to come out. And then when you when you do the amplify cat moves, um, uh, they'll be safe on block. It's still negative, but um, they'll, they'll be like minus seven or something. Yeah, I think but, the air one is just totally safe, and the ground one is like pretty safe, I think. <coughs> Kotal also is one of those characters who got just a lot of frame changes yeah yes the same yeah. with Katana, probably all these characters yeah and he also has the highest health in the game now too so yeah. mixing it up with the uh, blood sodom that you have in, this, in the second spider variation you can uh, sort of live longer and you sort of just uh, outlast your opponents while bashing them in. nice um so shao khan uh i think one of the big ones is forward two four that's which the big hammer the big overhead that's now not just safe on block it's plus yeah, and it does have a pretty big uh, gap where some characters will be able to just jab out of it. Some characters can use uh, reversals to like parry out of it, but then you can always flawless block it. So, so it's one of those things where the, the first move is a high, so you can sort of see it coming, but then he sort of has a, a pretty fast follow-up and he can special cancel it. So it just gives it a, a little bit more of a mix-up from uh, his big range. Yeah. Kojin, yeah, um, I keep also, telling you also, I will have F. Devorah's head on a pike also, also, when the other characters the, are revealed. Like... Those and the last two better recovery. So yeah, they'll recover a little bit better. It's not something you can just throw out mid screen and expect not to get punished, but there will be uh, better setups you can do now to get them out safely or get them out kind of safely, depending on when you can uh, trick your opponent. All right, so let's go to gameplay again. And this have... one I'm excited about. Yeah, I'm very excited. For both of these, actually. Yes. I've been actually playing the Night Wolf Collector matchup all day, so I've seen a lot of these new changes. The Noob Summit one is really cool because we've had a lot of people talk about. Oh, we got Noob. In particular. And Collector. Uh, 
Crushing Blow. Yes. And this so, will lead into that. He has a new amplified move. So his low slide can now be amplified, and a second clone comes out. I'm super into Okay, cool. And do it again real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it again real quick. So this is obviously <laughs> Roll that back. getting more damage. Well, that's just, that's just one shadow, though, right? Yeah, but that's two shadows. Oh. Which means his tackle crushing blow is to hit ten shadows in a match, and that's been very, very hard in real gameplay. And he now has double the hits if you use this variation, which is the one I Yeah, use. I am aware of that. Now calm your man down before he kills everything in sight! Um, uh, Mortal Kombat from 2011, um... So it's uh it's it's more of like a sort of zoning variation, but not really sort of like mid range and just a punish. But you can also use that to uh, keep the uh, slide safe from certain distances, and it just gives it a little bit more of different gameplay from the other variation, which is sort of just a combo punish one. Okay. So Collector has a boatload of little frame changes, but one of the major ones to show is this string now actually has a brand new reaction that pops you up. I am still not blocking it right. He oh wow, I can actually chain that. Actually use this and do the strings on whiff or block, which previously he could not do. He can cancel into a special move. Kojin, calm down. Don't make me trank you again. All the different options to do from 4-3, which is definitely his longest range move. Yeah, and I mean, just gives him something else to do from full screen, outside of just throwing a bowler or just trying to slowly move in your, your opponent. You can sort of like do the big leg, and then they don't know if they're going to throw out the shotguns after or not. Cool. Pretty cool. Seriously? Again, you can check out the patch notes for a bunch of other fun stuff. Seriously? Yeah, and his combos um, Blanks. always tend to be more grounded, <laughs> where... That How new dumb do you have to be, shit? Kojin, we already gone over this. Spurgs cannot kill Spurgs. It's not on the list? Let's do these two. Okay, yeah, that huh? makes perfect sense. I forgot to add that one, sorry. Yeah. I messed up big. I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> not as much as Kojin uh, does. A lot of people, you know... A lot of Devora fans out there. Yeah. Devora uh, did get some some help in this patch. Uh oh. Uh, changes that are pretty exciting. Tyler. The really cool thing is her arachnophobia variation actually has a brand new crushing blow. Hey it Tyler. Is and the requirement is Steph. To, opponent has one of the uh, whatever your name is. She does her fourth throw. You three might want to start running for the hills. <laughs> oh yeah, that's <laughs> a really good point. Who messed up now? Well, that was my example of what it is like now pre-patch. Right. Yeah. So that oh, was we the talked contract. about doing it that way. Guys, yeah. uh, run. So now it's locked and loaded. And a bug to the chest. Pretty so. good. Yeah, so it, it makes uh, any, uh, projectiles better in a variation. It makes any combos and that thing better. And you can choose to like uh, cash out into calling the bugs back, or you can uh, use your throw. Uh, the one thing new now is if the opponent happens to tech her throws, uh, you do lose the bugs on them. So it's uh, it's, it's sort of like a buff and a nerf, but it's one of those things where it just it just makes the game plan variation um, slightly, uh, completely different from the other one. Yeah, 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 more like everyone's least, least favorite. The, um, overhead um, spider move. This right. this next thing is super cool. So, with Jade, her pole vault variation, normally she can just do the pole vault, or she can cancel it. She now has the ability to hit Amplify and actually go into a Shadow Kick at any point. Now, you're not pushing in the Shadow Kick. Shit! Whoa! Amplifying run. Yes. Yeah. So, that's basically Can you check. double Amplify run? Guys, I that. tried to warn you! And, if she's in Fatal Blow territory, she can actually go into Fatal Blow, which is super fun because you get the armor. Yep. Yeah, it's one of those things where um, from full screen you can turn on her flashing, you can then run through a thrown projectile and then shadow kick it. Where uh, there might have been before where you couldn't punish some moves from full screen, but now she can. It also helps this variation also just more just get on top of the guy, which this variation is more of a um, offensive with Jade as opposed to the other one where it's more of like throw glaze and run away. Awesome. Uh, I think we have one more uh, yep. character matchup. Yeah, and again, good. we're going through <sighs> some stuff that we can actually show. Read the, read the patch notes, get to training mode, and start angry tweeting at me as soon as you can. All right. So uh, yeah, you can expect a lot of angry tweets, and or you can expect a lot of DeviantArt statuses from uh, from the Afropop. Oh my God! Millions of people in Combat League just really breathe the sigh of relief. Yeah, I've seen funerals playing on Twitter. For yeah. Scorpion. So teleport's now a high. Teleport is now a high. Now, so meter teleport is still a high mid. Yep. 
it's still a very fast, awesome anti footsie tool. I think it's still a great, great move. But if your opponent is absolutely spamming it and you're having trouble with the amplified versus not uh, mix up on block, that's a clear cut way to not even deal with it. They're bodied. Cool. And lastly, we're going to sew something with Raid Inspiration 2, which I think is maybe the coolest of the changes we made. Really? So, when he has this on, it acts the way it used to do, but it also mm -hmm. buffs two of his attacks. And what is, for those who don't play Raid, what, what, this is a buff to him that... It makes it so that he has... That yeah, I need, that is I need Sensu Beans, I need Phoenix attack, Downs, I need everything. Charge up his hands even more. And once you have, a, I think, I believe it's a charge of two, you can then do a reversal attack. That's one of the fastest attacks in the game that you can reversal out of any block that'll hit your opponent. And the Amplify for that move actually throws on four lightning bolts. It almost covers the entire screen. It can make Raiden safe out of a lot of situations where if you're getting pressed... Jody, I need you to calm Kojin down. ASAP! The new thing is it buffs his offense and defense by buffing two of his standard special moves. So, now, when this is active, this move becomes super safe because of this pushback. You can see it's pretty significant. And secondly, this... You can see this is the normal reaction. Becomes a pop up and he gets a combo starter. That's if you amplify it. Right. Oh. So if he uses the bar meter, he actually gets a low combo starter with hella range. And this thing is very quick to come off. Similar to Scorpion's like chain buff thing, I think this is one you can just really throw out and they have to make a hard read if they think you're gonna do it. Yeah, right. Oh one, crap! Is you're giving up the teleport from the other competitor variation. So it's something where it has it has its pros and cons, but it does make it where this one now has a certain appeal to it where the other one doesn't. All right. I think that's it for talking about mm -hmm. some the character balance stuff yeah. for now. Derek's going to be back on here in a second and discuss a few more things that are coming with the balance patch. Um, Paulo. Um, so with like um, in practice mode, when you have the um, real-time frame data boxes, the actual visual look for that has changed a little bit. It's a little bit more transparent, and it's a little bit smaller in, uh, in profile. So you can actually use it now without it uh, being obtrusive or like being in the way of certain things. Um, there have been a lot of like just um, um, changes to um, uh, just uh, gear drops in general. Like uh, some of the ones where it just it just told you this thing is in the crypt. We actually have more detailed information of like what type of chest it is, or if it's in like a certain location and stuff like that. Um, th that'll be something we'll be expanding even more in future patches where we'll be going into more detail of where you actually get items. So you can go over a piece of gear you don't have yet and actually see exactly where you get it and how you get it. Cool. Um, the uh, Johnny Cage announcer is now available to people. It's a reward for racing against time. That's something a lot of people have been looking for. Derek was going to say that. Uh -oh. It's very fun. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> a lot of it is just uh, a little bit of just... Uh, and it's Jordy, really I would... You can uh, play Jody, play less play asking, play more calming down. Characters are playing for you, still with the timing and stuff like that. And, um, but yeah, um, awesome. Thank you so much for coming on to talk about the balance again. It'll be online. Look for it and start getting to practice mode and see what you can do now. We're gonna go back real quick to the that balance patch screen. We'll bring Derek back in. Thank you so much, Paula, for joining us. you so much sometimes Kojin uh, <laughs> hello welcome back Derek hey you have a couple things Paulo stole your thunder on one of them totally stole the thunder but Johnny so, Ca Johnny Cajun answer pack yeah so um, if you make the top 10% of race against time you'll unlock the Johnny in any season and any week so it's a, week, a, yeah. it is a permanent reward that's always there if you reach the top 10% of the Race Against Time oh. announcer pack, and it's hilarious. It's a lot of fun. It's hilarious. Um, also in Towers of Time, 
we've added little difficult difficulty gauges as well so you can kind of just scan across like the uh the main tower platform screen and see if this is easy this is medium this is hella hard I don't um, think we call it hella. I don't get the title. No, we do. Oh, yeah, it's the actual yeah. term. Yeah. Hella oh, wow. hard. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. Okay. And so you, you can get a, a better example up front of what difficulty of the tower platform you're about to go into. Uh, another thing that we've also added are new rewards. This is cool. So basically, the last tower of any tower platform is going to give you one of three different reward types. It's going to be a piece of gear or augment for the character you are playing as. It's going mm -hmm. to be a skin or augment for the character that you are playing as, or is going to be an augment for the character that you are playing as. So people that are like, hey, I really want to get this Jackie skin or one thing or another. Well, if you complete these last towers on the tower platform, the chances of you getting this piece of gear or whatnot for your character that you're looking for have been increased greatly. So we just have basically a large pool of those rewards. And so if you sit and you play hell a lot of How games, many times do I have to go over this? Everything that we Spurg cannot kill Spurg. Cool. I like a lot of people happy who are trying to you know dress their characters like yeah. Like so like the Which group battles. Everybody. Yeah. Let's be honest. Let's be real. <laughs> so Every like, video game ultimately boils down to playing dress up. Yes. Yes. So like group battles and boss fights, those are a really easy way for you to get skins for the character you are playing as. And group battles are just fun to get with buddies and whatnot, friends, and try and beat a boss, and then you walk away with stuff that you're wanting. Let me do a little PSA real quickly about those. I've played a lot of those. Mm -hmm. I've won a lot of those. Uh huh. Some of them I lose. Yeah. Can you guess why? Because people aren't assisting you with modifiers? I'm sure everyone who's watching the stream knows this because you are savvy Mortal Kombat fans. Mm -hmm. You're savvy. Well, You're I am. Well, I when am. I don't think Gojin is. Buffs to people as they're fighting. <laughs> Push those buttons. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Use the Shinnok flick, right? I, Give me some health. I felt bad. I was playing one and a guy recognized my gamer tag and he right. messaged me saying, oh, it's so cool I'm playing with you. And none of them pushed the buttons. And I didn't play another round with them. Ooh. Maybe they thought you don't need the help because of your fundamental. Have they seen me play? Yeah, they, they know. They know <laughs> you need the help. So, uh, yeah, those are some of the changes. Uh, we've added more tower platforms. Of course, starting on the 13th, you're going to have the Nightwolf trial uh, tower platform in case you didn't purchase them earlier. Um, and you're going to start seeing Nightwolf popping up a lot. His bosses, uh, his... Uh, his tag assist tower is going to be popping up. So all those things are coming here with the patch. Awesome. Which cool, is, cool. Yeah, today. Yeah, we added another 25 uh, tag assist tower platforms. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so you'll see some more content. Let's keep the train rolling. Boop, 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 boop. With Derek doing birthday shout-outs. Oh, birthday oh, shout-outs. Oh, birthday yeah, shout-outs. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Birthday shout-outs. So all right. Not that obnoxious air one again. Yeah, that's great. All right. So we got Messi MX. I don't want to break kayfabe here, but Paula was all into that, and that just made my life. <laughs> uh, For the record, he's shaking his head no. No, that's, yeah. Oh, no. That's when Paula likes something. Uh, we've got mm. Parsa Hossein. We've got Arturo Santos. Cojin, oh, wow. calm uh, yes. the uh, hell down, Kelly. you stupid Nicholas afro. Parker. Combat clone, the Lord of Lipton, aka Dr. Love. Ah. Watching. Hey, parents. Uh, Joshua S. Terman, everyone's favorite Rainbow Pride. Coach Steve. Mm -hmm. Oh, known coach. Known coach. Our boy Uncage Games. Uh, I'm sure he's, he's watching. Yeah, I'm sure you're okay, watching, David. Yeah. And okay. if you are, okay. hello. Um, did he place last in the Fantasy Football League last year? He did. Moving on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Matt Colesio. Colesio? Uh, Bryce Butler. Bryce was working on some cool stuff. Ugh, okay. Can't talk about it. My bestest buddy, Jordan Peterson. And... Now clean your room. Music. Happy birthday, Cam. Yeah. Happy uh, birthday. Cam with a K, right? Of course. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Paula, I did see him dig at that time. That's actually happening. I have one. <laughs> yes, I just dabbed hippo, in yeah. the middle of a combat cast. Uh, so that is going to wrap it up. I, want, I mean, I know you guys, most people are like, oh, it's the, it's the belt battle. Let's go, let's go check. Let's go to practice mode. Flip. Yeah, right. done. Uh, but I think you and I should play a match or two. Absolutely. For the belt. I am the current holder of the belt. You are? You the are? The belt is downstairs somewhere. So... <laughs> 
We got to You could say yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think this is regular versus. Yeah. Yeah. We. we, we, we now are. there has been chatter mm. in the building mm-hmm. downstairs that you may try Nightwolf. I'm going to. Ancestral um, gift. Do you think you the, uh, All right. So we got I, I'm, I, Nightwolf I, I, versus I, Jackie. No, I'm not going to win. Oh, I, oh wow. Oh, okay. Jackie. Interesting. I did not know about. Good that. choice. Good uh, choice. <laughs> so I enjoy. I enjoy Nightwolf. <laughs> All right, all right, everyone, shut up. Intros. There have been other night wolves. I am the latest in a long line. Mind blown. Round one. <laughs> Mine. Badass looking night wolf. Oh yeah, I forgot this one doesn't have the. A lot of aggression from both players. Cactus. Oh. No, Steph's doing go. color cop. Oh god! What I like is if you look really closely, the spines from the cactus are actually in the opponent for a little bit. Oh, nice little deet. Would you touch a cactus for five hundred dollars? Absolutely. I would rather. I, I would take a raid check on that idea, Steph. Thank you very much. Oh my god, crushing blow. We just got yes. no, to monetize people. Says who? That's the bet. All right, good block. Fatal Blow is in play, and it would... Ooh. All right! ...the best use I've ever seen. So it'll come back in about yeah. 8 to 9 seconds. Now both yeah. have Fatal Blow. High IQ move there, Ty. Oh, wow, they are both wizarding Fatal Blow. That's gonna kill. No! No, broke away. Long no. Oh. So you've been playing Jackie without telling me. I knew you were gonna trick me. You, I you don't, don't, I'm not a tricky person! Wait, you, you didn't tell him you were playing Nightwolf. Yeah, yeah I did. I did today. You. Oh, okay. I apologize. Sure, a lot of not killing Devorah right going on right now. It looks like you're doing fine. Well, Jade used her fatal blow on Devorah. That should count. You gotta get out of that corner. Well, he doesn't have that no you teleport. Oh, wow. Very good throw. I'm gonna assume that was on purpose. Yeah, totally. No, that was it's total that accident. one of the best ways to punish a wake up roll because they'll actually beat invincibility. No. All right. Ooh. Oh, very good crushing blow. That molto bene, molto bene. We might oh, go to the oh, final oh, round. Oh. Gets the restand. Goes in for the poke. Oh! Wow, fatal blow. Oh, yeah, God. sure. I don't know that was a wise use, but you did get the round. So I want the round. I want yeah. the round. The round's the most important thing. Mhm. Mm it's always the round. The All effects of the round. lightning are really, really good. Yeah, no kidding. But like Kojin said, there's a hell of a lot of not murderizing that bug going on. Oh, oh wow. Wait, Actually, how on earth did that happen? Oh, big pressure. Somebody, somebody explain. Oh, what, the overhead. No combo, though. It's looking ugly right now. Wake up three. Ergs don't kill Spurgs, Monokuma! But Spurgs can kill bears! Alright, let's see Brain move. That move you can actually get combos, especially in the corner. And it's an anti-air, it's pretty decent normal. I did, I was looking at yours. Now he does. Oh! 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 Beat it before the... Uh... Armor came No! Wow! Well done, Lanny. Oh! You gonna stick with that? Whop, whop! Oh, I, I lost. The only thing sticking is this club in your head. Yeah. You can switch if you'd like, because you lost. Whop, like whop, whop! What are you gonna do? Is Jade a smart move? Because you do a lot of zoning and he has reflect. And I've played the match. If he Seriously, that was a... That was a dumb, uh, That was a stupid bunt. Is this fun or is this serious? It's fun. It's fun, I think. Yeah, it's fun. It is fun. Alright. Oh, low blow move. Yeah. Alright, first it goes to a uh, Steph. A lot of jump ins from Derek. Always. Or Derek, oh, sorry. Like my go to. Kill the bear, please. I really love that 
with Nightwolf, you have to have the stomp. So I like that he has like, every version of the stomp you could think of. We we did. Nice. Oh, no crushing blow though. That that would have been big. That would have been that would have been bigger than. Available, but wow, that is one of my favorite crushing blows because it always comes out of nowhere and yeah. it always makes you like physically recoil. It always seems to work too. Yeah. Pretty decisive round. Oh, teleport. I forgot about that, so I'm... Game changer! I did too, totally. Goes to the big overhead, but isn't comboing into I'm it. I'm not quite... I'm still too new to kind of know... Like, it's not my fingers yet, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's in your mind, but your fingers don't listen. Yes. You could say that. Mm -hmm. Goes for the shoulder. Oh, I don't have it big pressure here. That little jig she does after that move is the coolest thing. All right, Fatal Blow's in play, but again, it's kind of early. Oh, wow. That's pretty cocky. Hey, uh, Derek, your Kung Lao is showing! What? Obviously winnable. Okay, Fatal Blow's in play, and Fatal Blow would probably kill. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Ah. I'm really trying to do what am I trying to do? Throws her in the corner. <gasps> Big command grab. That. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's oh, oh yeah. Trying to take my head off. No, I would never. Not, oh. wor not working, is it? No, it's not. It's not working at all. Okay. All right. Let's see if Tyler can get out of the corner. Very good roll. <laughs> All right, then, Kojin. Good blocking. Oh, that's a crushing blow. That's that's hella. That's gonna hurt too. Yep, and that'll be a pop up. What if that move did more if she had the high heel? It should. Work that into the next patch, my guy. Big shoulder. Ooh. All right, Fatal Blow. I could literally hear Derek match. Yep, up. sure could. I respect that. Oh, and Tyler's scared of it. He's flogging. Oh! It. Tyler's going to retain the belt and have the first big high stakes win with Nightwolf. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. Derek, Kung Lao is showing, my guy. They have Fatal Blow. Well, Tyler nope. isn't available, but they haven't used them. No, I'm dead. And that'll be I'm it. In. That's it. Four downs and oh, never mind. Does it again? Back to back brutalities. I like that you're playing Jade. It fits you. I didn't play Jade. I played Not Jade. Jackie. I like to play Jade too. <laughs> uh, I like you playing Jackie. It fits yourself. Unbridled Fast offense. Unbr unbridled yeah. offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, coaching. Are you done? I Bremo, and he beats my ass all the time <laughs> with her. And so I'm like, I gotta just gotta, I want to play it. That's what I want to do. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We had a great time. I well, if you guys like watching. what you saw, hit the you like button. Figure characters out now. See well, you folks, if you like what you anime. saw, hit the like button. Yeah, the, the the stages of patch. Tweet that your character's ruined and you'll never get top eight again, or tweet that you're excited and you will now never not get top eight again. Mm -hmm. Lots of options here. If you like what you uh, saw, yeah, hit the like button. Yeah. Share with your friends and subscribe with those notifications oh, turned on. Totally cool. This has been your Lethal Spark, uh, John Peterson, you telling you all to take it easy. Scorpion's funeral. Nice. Uh, Shut thank up. Thank you so much. Well done. Jonathan Anderson. I um, didn't count Karen. a single screw up. We just did. We just did it. You screwed it up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was cold as ice. Uh, thank you, Paula, who's sitting back there laughing at fun uh, sound effects on Derek's phone. We will we'll see you very soon. We're going to start trying to do some more streams now that we kind of you know got the patch out of the way, got all the stuff out of the way. Do, get some badges out to people. You know, get some of those. Let's do it. So thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you very soon on the Combat Cast. Peace.